And switching gears now to women's sports, the Gamecocks just finished against Presbyterian. The final score for that was the Gamecocks winning. I'll pull it up right now. It looks like it was 39 Presbyterian and 91 for the South Carolina Gamecocks. You can see the score right there as well. So uh, a tough game for those Presbyterian players. It, it was a tough loss for them, but it still was a huge deal for them just to make it into the tournament. They are the smallest D1 school in the country and secured the first ever tournament win earlier this week. Fox Carolina's Tori Carmen traveled to Columbia for the game, and before it got started, she got the chance to catch up with some friends, some fans. Number one versus number 16, South Carolina taking on Presbyterian College. Two Palmetto State schools meeting for the second time this season, but this time it's a little bit different. It's the NCAA tournament. The fans out in full force packing Colonial Life Arena and the Blue Host faithful making the ride to the capital city to witness history for the smallest Division I school. Uh, we found fans from Simpsonville ready to cheer on the Gamecocks, a first time NCAA tourney experience for these two friends. I went to the SEC and went to one of the games for the SEC and this is the first time I've ever been to an event this big. And of course, I'm a huge Gamecock fan. And I do love basketball, but I'm just really excited to see these girls play. On the other side of the CLA, we found Presbyterian students who are showing up for their school, ready to experience history and make some memories. I'd have to say that this might be one of my favorite moments at PC so far, and we're just so excited to be here. I'd say, like, no matter what, win or lose today, it's just an honor for PC to be here. And keep it right here on Fox Carolina News. Coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock, we'll have all of your post-game coverage. Reporting here in Columbia, Tori Carmen, Fox Carolina News.